Hello YouTube and welcome to a, another YouTube answer back video. Um, here you can see my desktop's a little messed up because of my resolution. I turned it down to record this tutorial. But uh, this is a really cool desktop application called Rain Meter, which puts a bunch of wi widgets on your desktop, which you can make look like Windows Phone 7. And um, it works really well. So uh, I'll probably make a tutorial about that sometime. But uh, let's go ahead and get started. Now, I got this question from a user. Let's see. We'll scroll down here to my personal messages. And this is from user Frapes Chris. So um what he's doing is he is making a universe, so to speak. He's making it um in text uh using rows and uh, columns of zeros and then he's gonna put one planet on there but he can't figure out how to um, make a random planet so um, here's the code that he gave me uh, he started off with int universe equals new int so he creates an array now um, here's the fixed code I'll be moving back and forth between these two um, because I it took me a while to figure this out um, so I'll go back and look at this and then come make changes to this so, um, let's go ahead and get started. Here is um, the code that he gave me. He creates a, a universe array of integers, uh, 20 by 30. He creates a new random object, int x, int y, and int planet. And uh, he has four loops. Now, let's go ahead and clean this up to make it easier to read. So... Alright, so here's this for loop. For int i, um, i is less than universe dot length, i plus plus. Um, for int j equals zero, j is less than universe dot length, uh, j plus plus. So basically what this does is it creates this right here, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, by, I think, 30. I don't know. Uh, let's see. 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, screw it. Um, it. It's 20 by 30. I haven't actually counted it, but um, he can fix that if he wants to. I'm just helping him get the planet on there. So um, here's these three integers that we don't use. Um, so go ahead and say goodbye to those. He has those. I don't know why. We don't use them. And uh, let's go ahead and... Okay. So here he types x equals random number dot next int and 20 inside brackets now I don't know no offense um, you are probably a, a beginner programmer but um you never made a random number and when you're doing next int, you don't use brackets you use parameters so we'll go ahead and change this from random number to generator because that is your random generator um, now I don't know why I changed that because you don't need that at all. So if we run this the way it is right now, we get the same thing. Um, hold on. Let me close out of this. This is strange. I don't know why it's doing this. Um, let's see. Oh, 
Yeah, here's our problem. Duh. Alright, there we go. Now it should work. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, but see here we have our 20 by 30 universe. Um, so now here comes the hard part, putting the planet on the universe. So um, this took me a while to figure out, but um, after I did, it worked perfect every time. So um, down here below our random generator, even though we haven't used that yet, we're going to be using it right now. So um, we're going to create our planet, and it's going to be somewhere random inside of our universe. Now, we don't want to do this inside the for loop because uh, I didn't try to make it away like that, but if you do, then you're going to get the same. It's going to be in the same position every time. It, I don't, there might be a way to do it to where it creates random, but it would be extremely hard, and uh, it would take a long time. So um, here's the easy way that I figured out. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to be changing a number inside of our universe before it's even printed out. So we're going to do universe and here's our rows and columns. So I mean our columns, 20 columns and 30 rows I think. I haven't been working with arrays for a while so I kind of forgot but um, that's what his comment said so that's what I'm going to be using. So universe and now what we're going to do is we're going to set it equal to 1. So we're going to be we're going to find a random spot in the universe and set it equal to run. I set run. We're going to set it equal to 1. So to do this, we're just going to have our universe array and inside of our uh, brackets, we're just going to type generator dot next int and we'll go ahead and do 20 plus 1. So um, what this does is generator.nextint goes 0 through 19 so we just add 1 to that which does 1 through 20 and we're going to do that again but instead of doing 20 this time we're going to go ahead and do 30. So 30 plus 1. So now when we run this there's going to be a random planet now let's see it didn't work um oh, there's the random planet i guess it worked last time i just didn't find it so there it is right there remember that position you can see when i run it again it's somewhere else on the screen and when i run it again it's somewhere else and the next time i run it it's right there so um here's the code frapes chris um thanks for the question uh it was a nice challenge it took me about 10 minutes to figure out but um uh if you have any more questions feel free to ask uh, if anybody else has any questions just send it to me i'll try to go around to it and make a video sorry i haven't been making a lot of videos l lately i'm going to be trying to me i'm going to be trying to make more um, so thanks for watching and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.